Oh hey. What's up Mac? Fancy seeing you here. Oh hey Brett. I'm good, how about you? I'm doing very swell on this fine evening. Tag's great. Hey remember that sub place I opened the other day? Oh yes what about it? Well, I now have to hire employees to help me run the place. I was wondering if you could give me advice on hiring the right employees. You came to the right person. Oh good. Well first off, you're going to have to look at their appearance as they walk in. Because if you get a person with facial piercings and tattoos, it's not very ideal to hire them. Believe me, I wouldn't want that person serving me. People would rather have someone with no visual tattoos or piercings. Tag's only the beginning. I'll make sure to keep an eye out for that. Any more tips? Oh yes. A few more. Great. Next, you'll want someone who can speak fluent and understandable English. You don't want someone serving you while you can understand them. Yes, it may seem a little harsh, but do you want to lose customers because your employee can't be understood? Alright. Body odor is a no-no. If someone comes to an interview smelling like old smelly sacks, tell them to go. If they don't have the time to clean themselves, then you don't have the time to hire them. Next, try to pay attention to the person's attitude. You don't want to lose money because they can't control their anger or can't help out because of their laziness. Lastly, and probably the most important part, make sure you check the person's background and crime records. Trust me, you don't want to end up hiring an ex drug dealer or a person who got fired for something terrible before. It could spill a lot of trouble for you. Wow, thank you so much Mac. I can't believe you had so much info. I'll make sure to watch out for all of those things. No problem Brett. Well, I've got to go now. Talk to you later. Okay, see you later Mac.